What is going on guys, Rob from Heroes Avenue, and today we're going to talk a little X-Men movie universe. So as we all know, 2018 is going to be a big year for the X-Men movie universe, the 20th Century Fox slash Marvel movie universe. That is because we have three movies coming out. We have the New Mutants movie coming out April 13th. We have Deadpool coming out June 1st, and then we have the X-Men Dark Phoenix Saga coming out November 2nd. Now, that's quite a slate for 2018, and it looks like Fox is taking a page out of the DC book, and they went ahead and announced six new mystery movie slots for the, the future of their franchise. So I'm going to go ahead and read these dates off to you guys, because there's quite a lot of them. There's... June 7th and November 22nd in 2019. We have March 13th, June 26th, and October 2 in 2020. And then we have March 5th in 2021. Now, these movies so far don't have a lot of competition surrounding them, but this kind of worries me because as we have seen in uh, just recently with the other studio that I mentioned, the DC, DC side of things, they went ahead and announced a ton of movies. Of course, they, they dig themselves a deeper hole by actually naming which movies those were going to be. But they already went ahead and you know named their whole slate of movies uh, throughout 2020. And now it looks like they're reshuffling. And then they reshuffled again with new directors coming in. So there's just a lot of crazy stuff going ha happening on that side of things. And what worries me is that uh, Fox is betting big on their X-Men franchise right now and as we know the X-Men franchise is kind of in a transition phase uh, Logan just had his last hurrah and what an amazing one that was uh, now we know Deadpool is going to be carrying this franchise on his back pretty much given that the X-Men movies so far haven't given a lot of attention to the up-and-coming or younger X-Men uh, that we were seeing in the movies. They, they, they're tending to focus on the big stars that they have, which kind of upsets me a little bit. So we did get news that Jennifer Lawrence is coming back for that movie. And, you know, to be honest, I'm kind of tired of seeing these big stars take center stage in these roles. I'm really hoping that she takes a back seat in this upcoming uh, Phoenix Saga movie and we get more of the younger X-Men to take the lead to possibly push this franchise forward. But you know what, I've been hoping that for the past couple movies and we still aren't getting that. Of course, I'd definitely be down to see uh, Magneto and Charles Xavier back. Uh, I really think they're awesome. I think my biggest problem is with Jennifer Lawrence's character and how the movie tends to uh, kind of be based around her character. So I'm really hoping that, you know, at least with the X-Men movie, they're going to start focusing on the younger X-Men to bring this franchise forward and into the future. Uh, we did get news that the actor who plays Quicksilver is coming back. That's pretty awesome because every scene that Quicksilver has been in has, to be honest, been a scene stealer. A movie stealer, actually. His scenes have been the best part of these recent X-Men movies. As far as Deadpool goes, you know, we're all excited to see Deadpool 2 and a possibly Deadpool 3 on, on the slate for one of these release dates, these mystery release dates. Of course, Deadpool took the world by storm by becoming a smash hit that no one expected to, to be, no one expected it to be. So, of course, Deadpool, I'm all in for it. But uh, quite honestly, you know what? They're really banking on uh, the New Mutants, which is relatively unknown to the to the general public, at least. Uh, at least that's what that's how I feel and then we have you know with these other mystery movie dates Which quite honestly, I'm not sure what they're gonna do. Of course. Of course. There may be possibly a Deadpool 3 uh, there may be another uh, Extension into the X-Men universe where I'm assuming there's going to be a new mutant sequel coming there uh, a, Could there be a Deadpool slash cable spinoff or a cable origin story who knows? Uh, rumor has it that Fox is also going to be attempting a Fantastic Four reboot. That's right guys, another reboot for the Fantastic Four that is supposedly or rumored to be focused on the children of Reed Richards. You know what? I've quite, I've quite honestly given up on the Fantastic Four movies being good. I've never been the biggest Fantastic Four fan. Not to say that they're not uh, awesome characters. I just have never read any of their comics. So don't hold that against me, guys. I really think, uh, I really want the movies to be done well, but each and every time 
these movies seem to fail. Of course, with like any fan, we wish that Fox would just bring all of these characters back onto the Marvel side of things because the Fox universe, quite honestly, the timeline is kind of everywhere and it's really confusing. That's not to say that every movie has to have a continuity like the Marvel and DC movies are going to have right now. I think you could have a successful franchise without the continuity uh, being so strict and structured. If the movie's a good movie, the fans will throw the whole continuity issue to the back of their head. As long as the movie's good and we get characters that we love portrayed in the correct light. So quite honestly, guys, this is this is pretty good news. You know, the comic book bubble is not going to bust just yet. So they have, it looks like 20th Century Fox has a grasp of what they want to do in the future. And I'm really hoping the best for them. So it looks like Simon Kinberg, uh, the guy who's been a part of almost every X-Men movie, uh, almost every X-Men movie, it looks like he's going to be directing Dark Phoenix Saga. And we'll see if any of the movies stem from the X-Men or if they're just going to kind of start start over and build around the new mutants and Deadpool with these mystery movie dates. So guys, let me know what you think might be in these potential mystery movie slots. And are you excited for a potential Fantastic Four reboot again? So let me know in the comments below again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys next time.